If you're young and looking for work, then you could do a lot worse than landing a job as a media buyer for an advertising agency. According to an article in New York Magazine, it's working out very well for 24-year-old Chris Foreman. And it's working out despite a salary that's so measly he can't afford his own apartment, or even to add meat to his homemade spaghetti. This is what makes the job click for Foreman. As a media buyer, he decides where companies buy their advertisements. The ads mean serious money. A full page in a top magazine costs about five times what Foreman earns in a year. So, since Foreman is the one deciding where the money goes, it's no surprise that magazines line up to throw the good life his way. Thanks to the generosity of Forbes magazine for example, Foreman spends the occasional evening on the company's notorious, and vast, Highlander yacht. He drinks wine that's older than he is. Munches on exquisite hors d'oeuvres. And issues orders to responsive, and white-suited waiters. While guests arrive and depart by helicopter, Foreman hobnobs with people the rest of us see only on screens. A night on the Highlander is a good one, but it's far from the only event lighting up Foreman's glissy life. A few of his other recent outings are listed in the article, with some estimated cash values attached. Foreman observes the irony of his life. It's kind of crazy, he says, I had a $200 dinner at Nobu on Monday, but I don't have enough money to buy socks. The Highlander's spectacularly wealthy owner is Steve Forbes. If he invites the Reagans aboard for a holiday weekend, or a former British Prime Minister, or Prince Charles, you can understand why. They're interesting people, part of history. Heidi Klum has been aboard too, and she'd be an interesting guest in her way. Regardless, what government leaders, and royalty, and runway models, all have in common, is that you know exactly what they've got. And, you can understand why a guy with a big bank account would treat them to an evening. But, what exactly does Mr. Forbes expect to get in return for inviting media buyer Chris Foreman? Usefully, Foreman answers the question himself. If, at the end of a buying cycle, your budget has an extra $200,000, then you'll throw it back to the person who treated you the best. The answer, in a word, is money. A different question is, what is a conflict of interest? A conflict of interest is an employee in a situation, especially as a result of being offered a gift or entertainment, where his or her personal interest may corrupt his or her ability to serve the employer's interest. It's a conflict between personal and professional interests. Concretely for Chris Foreman, the question goes back to his job description, 